Another thing that's important after getting the antenna completely done at some point is I've got to mount it. Now if you look inside the hub there, you'll see it's threaded. So this will take, it's either inch or inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter uh, like black iron pipe or if you have the old style mast. Um, it's swaged at one end, it's tempered steel, it's really stiff and light. But I can't find them in 10 foot lengths anywhere. You can see 5 foot lengths all over the place, but I don't want to put up, you know, 6 5 foot lengths. And they're expensive that way, so I don't know what the hell happens. So, this is inch and a quarter EMT, and it's way too freaking big. It's not even close to fitting in that hole. So what I can do, without really much work at all, is make a, a round piece of aluminum that slides down in here a ways, and then slides up in there, and then there's three, uh, there's three set screws on the outside to clamp it in place. So I could use um, this inch and a quarter EMT for the top section. It turns out I have three pieces. 110 and 25, so I got 20 feet worth. Uh, but that's a lot of joints, so I may have to go buy another one. But in any case, um, part of the discussion I've been having with some of the CB guys is how to not necessarily make it telescoping, but how to fit one piece inside of another, what kind of bushings I need to make, and that sort of thing. Somebody's already done it, so we're yeah, paying close attention to this man's advice. So anyway, but for right now I could stick an adapter. I've got round aluminum stock and I could, it would have to be hollow for the coax and it would fit right up in there like a charm. And in fact, if I got real rambunctious I could even thread the end of it and it would screw in there. So this can be done without a lot of effort. Um, and I've got you know, 20 feet of this already. I also have, I bought three uh, chain link fence top rails. They're swaged on the end, but they're sloppy. They're not like the old swaged uh, mast material where it fit together super tight and was stiff and didn't wobble. So anyway, just part of figuring this out cheap. I really wanted to buy a Channel Master. It's a, C, it's a CM-1830. It's a 25 foot um, telescoping mast. And it's got guy wire connections like three or four places on it. It's just a nice piece of hardware for a hundred bucks. But if I can do this with stuff I already have or a lot cheaper, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna. Um, last thing is I have a Starduster new in the box from the 70s if anybody's interested in it. So un unassembled, perfect shape, parts are still in the bag, the whole thing. And that's why I'm trying to set this one up instead because I really... If somebody, there was some guy out there that was a collector and I haven't been able to find him. And I know he would have bought it because it's, it's brand new in the box. It's 40 years old and brand new, never assembled. NIB, new in box. All right, well, can read that. I forget what this is. 6061, this piece has end, ended up being. Anyway, that's it. We're almost getting there. Got to go uh, get ready to watch the Super Bowl. See you, bye.